Are you ready to go inside and check out your first Dollar Tree Plus? I'm ready to go looking for some deals. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3 and... Bill! So as you can see, he's ready to go check out the deals. I hope you are too. So let's get this Dollar Tree shop with me started. What do you say? Let's go! go. limited to what you can fit in that bag. Oh, it's such a small bag. Well, it's how I control our budget. Oh. What do you have there? The solar lights, but they're not on sticks. They're like Oh, little like animals. little statuesque. Yeah. So the lights, their eyes light up. Cute. So they got a fox. What's that? A frog? Frog. They got, uh, I don't know, what is that? A bear? No, or a bear. little opossum, I think. And this would be a raccoon, maybe? No, a sloth, I think. Oh, a sloth on the stick. Nice. Cute. Well, these here, I don't know if the uh, if the solar electricity stuff makes that uh, fly around. It looks like it may make it flutter around. Yeah, that's, that's interesting, too. Yeah, the butterflies. So they got that yellow one and green. the green. Nice. All right, here's the start bill of the Dollar Tree Plus section. Nobody looks like they have a riot. Yeah, it doesn't look too plus right now. <laughs> Pretty empty. But let's see. Fleece-lined leggings. Five dollars. The thing is, I found um, leggings, I mean, it was limited sizes, but for a dollar twenty-five. Now somebody told me that they thought this was a good price, um, it's for five. but it's you got to really go by the square footage. And so for us locally, um, this square footage for five dollars isn't a good deal. Our grocery store um, has better price point per square foot. I don't know, five dollars for that. Sixty-three loads. Is it for H E? Uh no. We'd have to check because again that's something that I can get on sale often. But you never know. This is five bucks for this hatching dino. Alright, I don't if there's nothing new from last week, we won't spend too much time in here. All new to me. That's true, it's new to you, but just what I show everybody. This doormat is $5. Paper thin though. Here's a little rug. Five dollars. Yeah. I don't know. I think those are the same signs we saw. Oh. Five dollars for... What does that do? Oh, for your dishwasher? Yeah. Dishwasher and liquid. $3. So $3, that's probably a decent deal. What do you think? Bling car seat hooks. Bling seat belt shoulder pad. All right, an ashtray. I don't know, people still smoke in their cars? Oh, yeah. H -E. Five dollars for the Swiffer wet pads. Five dollars. I mean, that's a brand name, Unstoppable, but I get the ones for a dollar twenty-five. But you get more and smell great. Here's a glass soap dispenser. It says Pure Soap. Three dollars. 
That seems nice. Five dollars for a hundred and twenty dryer sheets. Oh, Bill is gone. Here's a ledge shelf, 18 inches. They have it in gray and white. Five dollars. Five dollars for the three piece set. Here's a shower speaker in blue, white, pink. Those are five dollars. Bluetooth speakers, five dollars. Portable wireless speaker, five dollars. Ring light, five. Waterproof and submersible, ten LED puck. Three dollars. So that's like one color changing light. Are uh, the strips of color changing light for five? Earbuds for five dollars. Now I do have to say these look similar to the ones that we saw at Target for twenty. So that could be okay. Wireless charging mouse pad. Okay, I know some people were interested in the crafting items. So this is uh, six containers of glitter for $3. Ten piece art brushes for three. This 25 piece set for three. Watercolor paint cake for five. Five dollars for 24 um, dry erase markers. A little mini electric iron. Five dollars. Now this doesn't have any weight to it, so um, you probably have to put a lot of pressure to actually iron. Three dollars for the storage case. Some five dollar journals here. Foil flakes, that's kind of different. Three dollars, those are pretty. Mixing cups, three dollars. Oh, look at this metal flakes for three bucks. This is super light, like foiling in the copper and the silver. And this is the resin and the hardener, so five dollars for the little kit to make like little resin sculptures. Tumbler spinner, battery operated. Oh, so if you want to paint a water tumbler, that's the item to do it, five dollars. Hmm. Bunch of canvases down there. But a lot of stores by us uh, have the canvases on sale, so. Here's a wood panel for $3. <clears throat> Little chalk sign for three. Some various trays. All right, and some toys here. This is cute looking. All right, well, so that's still it for the dollar plus section here. All right, so let's catch up with Bill. He is uh, back to the dollar 25 area. I got the 50 loads for three. It's about six cents a load, and this is HE. All right, we'll give that a try. All right, so this is our dollar 25 as usual section with the drinks. I swear you pick that up every time we come in yeah, here. Days, try, try it, yeah. Major Catitude Magnet. Zero Wolf's Given. Oh, Zero Wolf's Given. I like that one. Zero Wolf's Given. All right. Let's see. Let's see. These are excellent if you like ginger snaps. These shortbread cookies are excellent. 
We like the wafers and they have them in regular and um, sugar free. You like all these little Dutch made ones well enough, right? Well enough, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have to say what I don't like are these super stack chips. I'd stick with the uh, Lay's stack. Ooh, what is this? Gets is it's like cow tails, but they're Oreo creams. Ooh. You know? Oh, yeah, like those, yeah. like those, but Oreo. Yep, same company. Those sound delicious. I love looking at all the candy. Here's Jello candy squares. I know we showed you guys um, the Jello gummies. Well, now here's candy squares. It looks like just uh, sour cherry. Hmm. This is another good product, the Azul Coconut Chips. Those are really good on a salad. They add a little bit of sweetness. Oh, Little Dutch Cheddar Cheese Crackers. So the whales I don't really care for, but I wonder how these compare to Cheez-Its. Only one way to find out. Hmm. All right, all right, I guess we will move to another aisle. I want to go check out the food. Okay. I mean, not that this isn't food, but these are the snacks. This all right, more sodium in the, in the cheese -its. than the regular Cheez Its. Oh, they have my milk chocolate flips. These are so good. If you like chocolate covered pretzels, and there are the little Heath miniatures, but I'm going to be good. No, nope, I'm going to be good and not get them on this trip. All right. I was trying to see if they had any of those mangoes here, because this is the type of section, guys, where I uh, hauled for you those um, organic mangoes. I don't see them here. Mm -hmm. I got something different. Oh, what's that? It's uh, Nord dates. And it's dates. A big, it's a big bar. It's a wow. Big bar you want one of those? Yeah. Oh, and this is new. Nutri-Grain Bites. All right. I love Nutri-Grain Bites. I'm going to get these as uh, something to keep in the car. Nice. We scored two new treats. Here's a clearance cart. 25 cents. Is now the day I try pork rinds for the first time? Oh, well, here, let me catch up with Bill. And see, oh, this is a really nice soup mug. I like the look and feel of that better. They have these all the time. I'm going to make you some more broccoli like and that. cheddar soup. You want one of these to be served in? Oh, and they have the uh, beachy themed plates. These are nice if you want to make your own tiered tray. Oh, and look at this. They have it in this color blue, Bill. And in the uh, Navy, this. what is that? Utilize Ooh, yummy. Croissants. All right. We got to get those. I thought you were going to tell me you found the bonus of the toast stumps. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've seen those in forever. And I don't even know if it was Eli's brand. You get 10. And what's this? Grand Vita Oats Bar. Six of them. Of 
Guadalajara, manufactured by Grupo Industrial Vida. If it's Mexican, it's for me. KMD Mexico. Best before February 2024. I've never seen those. Ooh, and look at here. This is the nine pack, the bonus biscuits. So instead of, look at that, five packs, six packs, nine packs. That's a good deal. Do they have, this looks like the only uh, bonus box of these. So I can't leave it for somebody else. Yep, looks like the only bonus one left. I don't see any, uh, I see hot dog rolls. I don't see any, uh, English muffins. No, that's very hit or miss. All right, well, I have the mini croissants. Croissants, croissants. I am not seeing any pimentos either. You got, you got, where is that? You got the uh, pimentos and the olives. Yes. That's true, the Spanish olives. All right, this is one of my favorite aisles. Creamers, the coffee, they have the uh, caramel dip. Believe it or not, $1.25 for this size is a good deal at least in our area. Oh, they've got the Hungry Jack uh, pancake mix besides the Loretta. They have the muffin tops. We still have these. We have to do a bake with me. What'd you find? Fried apples with cinnamon. Wow, Lux fried apples with cinnamon. That's different. 10 milligrams of sodium in a half a cup. 15 ounces. Yeah, it's a big size. Product of chili. That is something. I have never seen that. Recipe on the back. What was it? Stuck over here? Yeah. Hiding behind the papers there. Nice find, Bill. This tells you how to fry them. These are not fried already? I don't know. It says fried apples. Some big ramen bowls. Fire bowls. Hot and spicy. Extra spicy. All right. Let's check out this while Bill decides what he wants to do about the fried apples. We'll keep looking and see if we can score anything else. The breadcrumbs are good here. Oh. And I find this all the time, guys, this organic coconut flour. If you're on a keto diet, um, I know people use that, so that's always a good deal. It's getting closer to summertime. Weren't these the deal we found, the best deal anywhere on the in our area, cones. most definitely, to get the uh, ice cream cones for $1.25 is the best price. I like this color basket. And then they have a bright pink, too. These are great to bring to a pool or the beach because you can dunk them right in the water. Killing stuff's out now. It is, it is. Ant traps. Let me get two ant traps. Yeah. Mothballs. This will keep squirrels out of the erratic, throwing mothballs up late. Really? Late spring. Oh, look at this. Mega Charmin. 
But so see that for just a dollar twenty-five isn't a good deal. You might as well get the five dollar one from the plus section. All right. Hmm. Anything else? Paper plates, paper towels. Up there they have the uh, bigger deal one. Laundry baskets. All right, I don't think. I see anything else that we cannot live without today. How you doing? Did you overfill your bag? Uh, I got some room left. Not bad. But just because we have room, we don't have to fill it. Some magazines. Bunch of balloons, condiment bottles, shirts, Hello, how are you? I want to try these in the car. We got a lot of food today. That's what happens when I bring Bill. A lot of junk. Yeah. All right, ready to do a taste test? Always ready to eat something. All right, these are Getz's Caramel Creams with Oreo. So, three pieces, 140 calories. So, we'll just have one each. Only one? For now. All right. <laughs> it's just like a uh, bullseye, but, you know, uh, chocolate on the outside is supposed to caramel. So about 11 uh, milligrams of sodium per piece. Nice size candy. Smells good. That's what it looks like. like a it smell like an Oreo? It smells a little bit like an Oreo. Yeah, I think it smells a little bit like an Oreo. Oreo. Same cream as they have in a bullseye. Mm -hmm. Well, I really don't taste the cookie. I don't either. I mean, it tastes chocolatey, but it doesn't mm -hmm. taste like an Oreo chocolate. I mean, I love it because it's just good candy, but it doesn't taste like an Oreo cookie. Looks like one, doesn't taste like one. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Caramel cream with Oreo. I don't taste Oreo. It says it has little Oreo pieces. Can you eat another one? I don't always eat another one. Well, because I want to open it up and bite it with how it looks like the Oreo pieces. I like where the cream meets the cookie, see? That's it. I mean, I don't you, see any Oreo pieces. When you have just the Oreo cookie left in your mouth without like the cream, I guess a little bit of that flavor. Buy them because they're good. Don't buy them because they taste like Oreos. I know they don't. because it would. It says that the Oreo pieces are right next to the cream. Got to deconstruct one here. No Oreo pieces there. No. No. I don't see any Oreo pieces. Nor do I. I still love them because they're delicious, but if you're expecting a candy that tastes like an Oreo, mm -mm. not like ice cream with Oreo pieces in it. It's a chocolate bullseye. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So there you have it. 
caramel cream. It says with Oreo cookie pieces. If they are, they're very small. They must be so pulverized you can't taste them. Well, excuse me for talking with my mouth full, but they're still delicious. All right, since we didn't get a ton of maybe what would be considered exciting things, I'm going to do the haul for you guys right now. Now, this is the first thing we've ever purchased from Dollar Tree Plus section, and this was $3, and this does 50 loads. It says HE for All Machines uh, Tropical Passion. So Bill picked that up. You saw we got the Getz's uh, caramel creams. We did a taste test of those in the car. We did go ahead and get this box of um, these oat bars from Mexico for Bill, six bars. I did grab, as you saw, the bonus box of 50% more. So I got nine packs of the breakfast cinnamon and brown sugar biscuits. I love those. We did go ahead and get the Eli's uh, 10 little mini croissant rolls. Love those. <laughs> and yes, of course, we picked up one of the Wild Fair uh, dried pitted uh, dates. These are organic, non-GMO, so great pricing on that. Bill will be loving that. Um, you guys saw me grab the Nutri-Grain Bites. These are the strawberry little mini bars. Another fabulous treat just to uh, keep, you know, for when you get the hungry horrors. And then another one of my favorite Dollar Tree products. These are the Flips pretzels. These are the milk chocolate ones. Now the Dollar Tree often has the white chocolate ones, but I may uh milk or dark chocolate fan so i grabbed me one of these so that is everything we picked up um because we honestly didn't really need too much of anything we needed english muffins and those they didn't have but trust me i am very happy with the croissants put a little bit of chocolate chips in these or some of that dollar tree chocolate hazelnut spread uh warm them up in my air fryer and they're going to be a tasty breakfast and you get two of these for 130 calories so that is the little haul i want to thank you all for coming shopping with us sticking around for the taste test now the haul uh bill and i will be back again very soon with more dollar tree fun we've got some cooking to do and I, I'm covered with these little pellets of styrofoam, static electricity. I hate it. Can't get it off of me. But <laughs> in any case, until next time, our friends, please be well.